Hey guys, it's Nick Hamilton, MGK Spark Plugs Ambassador. We are here for the last round of the 2021 season of the British Touring Car Championship. Um, so, British Touring Cars, pinnacle of British motorsport, um, which is what I compete in. Um, I compete for Team Hard in a Cooper Leon. Um, I'm practically the only disabled athlete on the grid, so I'd like to think of myself as a Paralympian in the Olympics. Um, and I'm about to show you around my car. Great, so um, as I said, Cooper Leon, British Touring Car, brand new um, Touring Car for this year. This is our new uh, car for the season. Um, so I'll show you under the bonnet. Oh, yeah, camera. Two litre turbo, 380 ish brake horsepower. Swindon actually don't tell us uh, exactly how much power is under the bonnet. Um, but top speed around, um, I would say 160-ish miles an hour. Um, if it's geared correctly at tracks like Thruxton, which is the fastest circuit in the UK. Um, but the coolest thing as well about this car is we, we corner just as fast as we are in a straight line. So um, at Thruxton, the fastest corner um, on the calendar, I would say is Church. We turn in around 135 mile an hour through there. So um, yeah, I mean, car's got a lot of grip. Um, it's super difficult to drive. Everybody says how you know tough British touring cars are to drive. Um, they're definitely not easy. Um, so it, uh, yeah, it takes some getting used to. But you know, I've been here for yeah. I'm just about to go into my fourth season in, in 2022. So even though I'm in my fourth season as of 22, I'm still up against veterans that have been in the in the sport since like I don't know the 90s. So uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, well talented drivers as I said it's the pinnacle of British motorsport and uh, yeah it's not just the average drivers driving these cars so yeah my plan is to stay here for as long as possible um, and be a seasoned veteran and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be old and grey and still driving the touring car as fast as I can. This is the cockpit of my car uh, now my car I would say is unique um, to everybody else's car on the grid um, and that is because of my condition now having cerebral palsy um, and driving a touring car like this is not easy so everything has to be modified um, to make sure that my legs fit the car well but also it's safe to do so and it keeps me within tenths of a second of everybody people so first thing to look at are my pedals accelerator which is very very big and and wide and then the same brake pedal um, brake on the left hand side obviously and you'll see that the, the brake pedal is basically the same size of a clutch pedal and brake pedal put together. Um, so we've actually taken the clutch pedal out and now I use a hand clutch which is on the back of the steering wheel and this just means that I don't have to use my legs as much so I only use the hand clutch to, to pull away for like race starts and stuff um, and then we have a molded seat which isn't in the car because at the moment they've got uh, the, the weight in the car to set it up. Um, so yeah, I think I'm a little bit overweight comparison to the start of the season. I might have put like five kilos or so on, but anyway. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the modifications. Now I would say also how I get in and out of the car is very unique. Um, now with my, with my condition, um, I can only pick up my leg like this, this high and obviously I've got to get to this, this level to be able to get in and out. So I have a quite a cool um, entry. <laughs> so get to this point and then up, legs up here and then slide my legs in. And then I reverse the whole situation to get out. Now we have to get out within seven seconds. So I had to find a way where I could get out very quickly. Um, and then just a bit more detail about the legs. Um, I can't use my ankles, I can't flex my ankles. So all of my um, throttle control, brake control, all comes from the thigh muscle. And when we hit the brake pedal, we gotta hit about 90 kilos worth of pressure. Um, now when I first started to, to train and race, I could only push 10 kilos of pressure with both of my legs because they were so weak. Um, and obviously, yeah, now I've got to do 90 kilos every time I hit the brake pedal, but 24 corners for 24 laps. Um, and you do it 150 mile an hour at the same time. So, uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a big trial and error process. And now I think I'm at a level where, um, you know, the car's pretty much perfect in terms of me being able to drive it. Yes, I would say I'm at a little 
disadvantage sometimes on the brakes and, and maximizing that peak pressure um, but I can gain it somewhere else as well so through um, through the winter we'll just be working to try and make my legs stronger as possible as well and then also maybe a few uh, um, adaptions to the brake pedal just to make things a little bit easier when it comes to finding that final two and a half tenths or whatever it is. Yeah, so lastly for me as I said it's the last race of the British Touring Car Championship 2021. We're at Brands Hatch GP. The GP is very rare. We very rarely get to, um, to test here. We never get to test here. We just race here every year. Um, so it's going to be an amazing weekend. If you can get down and watch me that would be amazing to see you guys. If you can't then go to ITV2 I believe and you'll be able to watch all of the action on Sunday. Um, and uh, if I don't see you at the end of the year this year, I'm sure I get to see you next year. So thank you for all the support you guys show me. NGK Spark Plugs have been behind me for a long time now. I'm super, super grateful for, for all their support. So thanks once again, and I'll see you in 22.